The movie begins with Fleetwood Yak, an elder yak, narrating about a place where sheep reside called Snow Mountain. He says that a mastiff named Kampa protects the sheep, and they have fun as they play music with their instruments. One night, wolves attack the village as the sheep are unaware and attempt to eat them. Kampa emerges and fights them using his secret technique, the mastiff paw. He defeats the wolves as the sheep watch, and they fly out of the village. Kampa forms an army of sheep disguised as dogs to scare the wolves and begins training his son Bodhi. He realizes music is a distraction and takes Bodhi and the sheep's instruments. Years later, Bodhi uses a stick to play with the confiscated instruments. Fleetwood reminds him that he has to be somewhere, and Bodhi rushes away. He runs through the town and gathers several sheep. They walk to a building where Kampa stands with some dogs who are standing guard. Kampa sees Bodhi and the others as they enter the building, and they begin removing the disguises. The disguised sheep walk outside and stand guard. Bodhi tries leaving, but his dad reminds him that he hasn't mastered the mastiff paw. Bodhi trains with his dad but doesn't perform well and accidentally scares the sheep. Kampa calms them and looks at Bodhi with disappointment. Bodhi tries to retrieve a disguise from a field, but some birds pick it up and fly away. They hit a plane, which accidentally drops some of its luggage to the ground. He finds a radio in the luggage and falls in love with the rock and roll issue he hears. He hears an interview from Angus Scattergood, a famous rock and roll singer. Bodhi retrieves an instrument and converts it to a makeshift guitar. He practices as he listens to the interview and decides to tell his dad about his passion. Bodhi meets Kampa and informs him he wants to become a musician. Kampa refuses and tries collecting the guitar from him. Bodhi runs to the room and sneaks out of the house through the window. Bodhi plays the guitar the following day and walks around the town as the sheep follow him. Kampa talks to Floyd, the sheep barber, who suggests that he scares Bodhi into being scared of music. That night, Kampa takes Bodhi to the watch post. He gathers some sheep and instructs them to help him scare Bodhi as they disguise themselves as wolves. He enters the building, and Bodhi runs away as he is frightened. He enters the town and frightens the other sheep. Kampa and the others accidentally enter the town and cause havoc as the sheep run around in fear. The following morning, Kampa sits in a bar, and Fleetwood joins him. He advises Kampa to allow Bodhi to do what he wants to and gives him a bus ticket. Bodhi returns the guitar to where the other instruments are. He walks to the watch post to talk to Kampa, and Kampa gives him the bus ticket. He allows Bodhi to go to the city to pursue his dreams but says he will have to abandon music if his journey fails. Bodhi takes the bus ticket and wishes the sheep farewell. Fleetwood gives him the guitar, and he leaves the village as it begins to snow. Meanwhile, Riff and Skaz, two wolves, watch as Bodhi leaves the village and inform Linux, their leader and the alpha male. He instructs them to abduct Bodhi, and they watch as Bodhi gets on a bus. Bodhi arrives at the city and asks for rock and roll park, but the people ignore him. Riff and Skaz arrive and attempt to abduct Bodhi, but their plan fails. Bodhi walks into the road, and a small car hits him. He moves through several vehicles and arrives in front of a supermarket. He hears the sound of music and follows it to Rock and Roll Park, where he sees several bands performing. He sees Dharma and Germer, who are in an incomplete band, and tries to join them. Trey, their lead guitarist, arrives and behaves meanly toward him. He calls for a shred-off, and several animals form a circle around them. Trey shows off his skills, and Bodhi tries to keep up with him but loses. Trey refuses to let him join the band, and he goes to retrieve his guitar from the tree he accidentally threw it into. Bodhi sits on a bench, and Dharma and Germer walk to him. They talk to him, and Trey arrives and says that Bodhi can meet Angus and talk to him. He gives Bodhi directions and instructs him to kiss Angus' gate for good luck. Bodhi arrives at Angus' house the following day and gets electrocuted as he kisses the gate. He uses two foam fingers to climb over the gate and enter the compound. Inside the house, Angus, who suffers from writer's block, talks to his agent Ian and Ian instructs him to produce a song or his contract will be terminated. Bodhi makes his way through a maze as robotic rats pursue him. He gets to the front door but triggers a trap. Angus plays music inside and hears the doorbell. He pretends to be a butler, and Bodhi asks him to be his music teacher. Angus agrees and instructs him to wipe his feet on the doormat. Bodhi steps on the doormat, and it slingshots him out of the compound. He excitedly waits outside the compound as it rains, 
and a trash can takes him away. Riff and Skaz call Linux and tell him they could not catch Bodhi. He instructs them to search the whole city and gives them a deadline to find him. Angus wakes up the following morning and tries writing a song but cannot. He hears Bodhi singing and goes outside to stop him. The gate closes, and Angus gets electrocuted as he touches the gate. He tries to call Ozzy, his robot butler, but he watches television inside the house. A tour bus arrives, and they see Angus outside his house. The people begin to pursue him as he and Bodhi run away. They enter an alley, and Bodhi pushes Angus into a dumpster. They emerge from the dumpster after the people leave, and Angus asks Bodhi for money he can use to get home. Bodhi takes Angus to Rock and Roll Park and plays the guitar so people can give him money. Riff and Skaz see Bodhi and attempt to abduct him. Angus puts on a disguise and decides to play the guitar while he instructs Bodhi to walk away. Bodhi sees Dharma and Jermer and tells them he is playing with Angus. Riff and Skaz accidentally kidnap Angus instead of Bodhi and drive away. Dharma and Jermer follow Bodhi but don't see Angus, and Bodhi searches for him. Riff and Skaz arrive at their secret lair and realize they kidnapped Angus, not Bodhi. Linux instructs the wolves to take Angus to his house and threatens Riff and Skaz. Meanwhile, Kampa organizes the sheep, and they ask where Bodhi is. He tells them that Bodhi is in the city and reminds them they threw a party for him. They ask him when Bodhi is coming back, and he wishes he knew. Riff and Skaz drop Angus at his house and drive away. They begin to argue and get into an accident that leaves their car upside down. Angus tries writing a song but is unable to. He gets a call from Ian and asks for more time, but Ian refuses. Angus hears Bodhi singing and realizes his song is catchy. He opens the door and allows Bodhi to enter as he agrees to be his teacher. Bodhi says his entire village can fit into Angus' house, and they walk past his old tour bus. Angus takes Bodhi to his guitar library and says a proper musician needs a proper instrument. Angus asks Bodhi to pick any guitar but doesn't let him touch the one in a glass case. He says it's the only one of its kind, and Bodhi searches for another guitar. Angus doesn't let him touch any of the guitars. He opens a small door, retrieves an old acoustic guitar, and gives it to Bodhi. They enter the studio, and Angus asks Bodhi to play his song. Ozzy records as he sings, but Angus realizes the song isn't rock and roll. He asks Bodhi several questions, and Bodhi calls his song glorious. They work together as they compose the song, and Bodhi accidentally uses his power to wreck the room and send Ozzy flying out the window. Angus informs Bodhi that the song is complete. They walk to the front door, and Bodhi asks him when he should return for more lessons. Bodhi leaves the house in excitement and runs to the park. He meets Dharma and the others and informs them he had lessons with Angus. They hear Angus on the radio and listen as he talks to a radio host. Angus takes all the credit for the song, and Trey and the others laugh at Bodhi. It begins raining, and Dharma asks him to join them as they go to eat but he refuses. In Angus' house, Ozzy looks out the window as it rains and moves to Angus, who is on a phone call with Ian. He stares at Angus, who eventually feels guilty for taking all the credit for the song. He gets up and decides to right his mistake as he rushes to his old tour bus and drives out of his house. Bodhi sits on a bench and plays his guitar. He sees a car's light coming towards him and runs away as it runs over the bench. Several cars surround Bodhi, and the henchmen shoot tranquilizer darts at Bodhi. He dodges several darts, but Riff hits him and knocks him out. Bodhi wakes up but is still drowsy from the tranquilizer, and Linux interrogates him. He accidentally mentions a sheep army, and Linux realizes that the army is fake and they are sheep in disguise. Linux laughs and instructs the other wolves to prepare for a journey to Snow Mountain. Meanwhile, Dharma and Jermer search for Bodhi and find his guitar covered in tranquilizer darts. They see as Angus tour bus parks, and Angus steps out. He walks to them and asks if they've seen Bodhi. He then gets a phone call from Ian but decides to ignore it and save Bodhi. Bodhi stands in a ring, and a large fighter named Grizz enters. A cage is lowered around them, and the fight begins. Bodhi gets an idea and makes Grizz punch several holes in the cage. Grizz pursues him and eventually breaks through the cage. Bodhi escapes and sees the wolves make their way to Snow Mountain. Angus and the others meet Bodhi, and he asks Angus to take him to the village. They begin their journey, and Angus gives Bodhi the acoustic guitar as a gift. 
Bodhi realizes he forms the Mastiff Paw symbol with his hand as he plays the guitar. Linux and the other wolves arrive at Snow Mountain and capture Kampa and some sheep. Fleetwood tries to hide with the rest of the village, but the wolves catch them. They prepare to roast the sheep, and Bodhi arrives. He tells the wolves to release the dogs, and they rush to attack him. He climbs a ladder and tries pushing it down, but the wolves put it back in place and continue pursuing him. Kampa frees himself from the ropes and rushes to help his son. Bodhi moves on a line, but the wood that holds it breaks, and he stands on the edge. Linux tells the wolves to cut the line, and Kampa instructs him to play the guitar. Bodhi begins playing, and the blue force makes the wolves float and pushes them. He moves around the village as he plays, making everyone float in the air. He stops playing and drops everyone on the ground. Linux tries running away, but Kampa hits him with the mastiff paw and sends him flying. He hugs Bodhi, and the sheep celebrate as Fleetwood narrates how things around the village will get louder. Bodhi performs with Dharma as his guitarist and Jermer as his drummer. Angus talks to Ian and drops the phone as he rushes to perform. Kampa stands in the crowd and enjoys the performance. Trey tries getting into the concert as he says he is a band member, but the bouncer scares him away. Fleetwood and the sheep emerge on the stage and join as they perform Bodhi's song Glorious. The end. Thank you for watching. Check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time.